Hey everybody, Darren here. Welcome back to the channel. I uh, just received in the mail Tamiya's new M18 Hellcat tank destroyer and thought I would pop on here kind of give you all a sneak peek of what's in the box. So stick around. <laughs> Hey everybody, Darren here. Welcome to the channel. As I said in the opening, I had a very interesting mail call earlier this week uh, and a box showed up on the front porch and in it was the new M18 Hellcat US Tank Destroyer by Tamiya. Now, those of you that have seen my channel and seen my content in the past, you know that I'm pretty much an aircraft builder um, and I dabble on some automobile stuff. That said, this piece of armor, this kid here has got me pretty excited, so I thought I would jump on here, go ahead and give you all a real quick inbox review, and uh, see what it's all about. So let's not beat around the bush, let's go ahead and get the box out here and, and take a look and see what we got. So what's there to say about a box? It's a Tamiya box, it's a typical Tamiya box with some great artwork. Uh, they never disappoint when it comes to the artwork. Uh, it looks like uh, there are Two different versions here, uh, Cobra's Cherry and this one here says Barry, B Company, 805th Tank Destroyer Battalion, Italy, April 1945. Um, looks like it's going to come, it has a figure inside. Uh, pretty cool. So uh, let's see, we got a total of one. Let's see, there's two screws there, three. Four, five, six, seven sprues. The instruction booklet, which we'll go through here in just a second. Uh, let's see here. This is our paint guide. Yep, two different versions. Um, C Company, 805th. And that's uh, Italy, March 1945, and B Company, 805th, April of 1945. So two different uh, paint schemes. And uh, I don't know, kinda, I don't know how accurate the markings are from yellow to white, but I'm really digging the yellow. I think it's going to be kind of cool there, Covers Cherry, which, uh, of course, would be the, uh, the front box version. So... Gives you a little rundown, it looks like, the history of the, yep, it tells you a little bit about the T-70 and the M-18 design and uh, some of the uh, information on deployment, some specifications, that's pretty cool. A uh, couple different languages, and I, I kind of like the, uh, the drawing here too. Some really good little black and white reference pictures, but you can really see how nasty and dirty those things were. Um, there was one over here that I particularly like, and you can see the fenders are all beat to hell and stuff. That's just cool. So, yep, nice color callouts there and paint guide. And then also it looks like we have, of course, our decals. We'll take a look at those here in a few moments as well. So, let me go ahead and break these bags open, and then we'll look at the sprues here one at a time. Uh, the first sprue... Here, it looks like this is the turret part. Uh, it has the gun mechanism in it, and uh, I like, I know the lot, there's people out there, I've seen a lot of videos of folks that don't like doing the canvas over uh, the gun itself. Uh, I think that's a pretty interesting little piece, and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. Uh, there's some stowage stuff on here. Uh, here's the barrel, uh, which, that appears to be a slide molded piece there. So there's no seam here. Uh, that's kind of cool. Just a couple little notches. That's can't tell. My eyesight's too bad to tell if that is actually rifled or not, but that's slide molded barrel and some other accessories on here. 
top piece of the turret. Now, it's my understanding, and we'll check this in the instructions here in a few minutes, but you're going to actually be able to see down inside the turret. So there's going to be a lot of interior details here as well, which is uh, kind of cool. Uh, next sprue. This appears to be all the running gear. Uh, drive sprockets, road wheels, auto wheels, etc. Here's uh, the track pieces, which really will look nice. I love the detail inside the uh, road wheels and the idler wheels. There's uh, suspension pieces on here. Um, it looks like some exterior hull parts, tow cable ends, etc. And I, there's two of these sprues, obviously, uh, one for you know, each side. What I'm going to do is I'll put up some shots of the sprues at the very end here, and y'all can uh, uh, take a look, a closer look at them. Uh, in the pictures at the end. Next we have more suspension parts, interior pieces, your tools, accessories, uh, stowage. Golly man, this is some finely detailed stuff. Lights. Um, this really looks like it's gonna be a fun kit to put together. Very detailed in the, the service details. Incredible. I'm curious to see when we get to the hull what the weld lines look like and stuff, but surface texture. The tools are immaculate. The next sprue is the upper hull and some interior pieces. The surface detail, I don't know if you can see that on the, uh, let me pull this in a little bit closer so you can see this, the detail on that flooring. The diamond plating is really, really cool. Uh, here's some shots of the interior pieces. The actual upper hull itself, the, uh, the surface detail is really cool. The next sprue is the lower hull pieces. And you can see here, of course, the, the lower hull itself, the bottom, and then the side pieces. And look at the detail on the side pieces. Uh, it's really cool, really well detailed. It's crisp. It's got all the well detail. Uh, it's just very well done, very crisp. It's just something you come to expect from uh, Tamiya. The front of the hull also has all the weld, uh, weld seams on it, weld marks, all the way across the bottom. Sorry. All right. Uh, there's one more sprue here. Uh, this appears to be the rear parts, which I'm not going to take out of there right now. Uh, they're in a separate bag. I don't want to uh, scratch those up, but this one here is the this is the 50 cal machine gun in ammo boxes. So nice detail on the gun itself. Very cool. So, those are the sprues. Let me, uh, I'll, like I said, put some pictures of these up at the very end for you to take a look at. Okay, next up is the instructions. And I've done a little reading ahead here. And it looks like we've got a total of 37 steps in total. Of course, uh, they're typical to me. Uh, Instructions with all the read before assembly stuff, paints required, it's all listed right in front with recommended tools. I'm going to uh, flip through this so you can take a look, but I will go ahead and put pictures up at the end uh, so that you can pause and take uh, a good look at the instructions that way. Um, there's nothing here that seems to be a big surprise. Uh, if you know have ever built and who hasn't a Tamiya kit in the past. I think it's the same with their cars or aircraft or armor. Uh, their technical drawings and instructions are awesome. Lots of details here. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a really, really fun kit, like I said before, uh, to put together. I love the gun detail and the interior uh, detail. Where you're going to be able to see down inside. Uh, I am uh, 
curious to see how this canvas is going to go together. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see. And let's see here. Get into the gun, the 50 cal, and some of your external uh, stuff here. Accessories in the figure, of course. So, yeah. So there you go. There's the instructions. Let's see. Decals. Now, it has been my, of course, being an aircraft builder, I do a lot of decal work. It's been my experience in the past that, to me, a decals can be a little bit thick. Uh, and these two, I can feel them. They, the carrier film's a little thick, but I think uh, with the uh, proper solvents, the mark fit uh, strong, uh, we can get these to lay down with no problem. So, not a lot, but like I said, two markings, uh, two marking options, and there you go. So, so there you go, the M18 Hellcat from Tamiya. Like I said in the beginning, it's due to be out sometime in mid to late December. Of course, supply chain management issues uh, could hinder that release just a little bit, but keep your fingers crossed that we'll see it here uh, before the end of the year. Uh, the MSRP is coming right around $54, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a really cool kit. Now, I am going to build this kit, and I'm hoping that y'all will stick around and uh, point me in the right direction. As y'all know, I am an aircraft builder, and if you've got any pointers as we go through, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Uh, it's going to be fun. I'm going to do it completely out of the box. Uh, so, if that's something you think you'd like to see, please go ahead and make sure that you have the... Uh, bell clicked up there notifications on so that you get notified whenever I upload a episode of the build. So until next time, let's all be good to each other and go out there and build something. As I said before, here's some pictures of the sprues and uh, the instructions for y'all to take a look at. So enjoy and uh, we'll catch y'all in episode one of the M18 Hellcat build. Peace.